So are you, you presenting here uh, or launching some new, pro new products? Um, we're actually launching, or following on the launch of Trico Tech, uh, Trico Flex, sorry, Trico Flex, um, and we're, we're, which is a short range of products, ideally targeted at the workshop, which we'd like to push out um, and have the success that we're starting to enjoy throughout Europe. That's a, that's a multi-clip um, multi program, which uh, with 10 references gives a proc well more than 90% vehicle park coverage. It's a range of 10 flat blades, multi-clip. Okay. So, and uh, regarding concerning the European market, what's the importance of European market for Trico? Uh, well, the important thing for us is to increase our market share. Um, to, to increase our exposure in the market um, so we can grow and, 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 and be serious challenges to our, our competitors. And are we intend to develop more the notoriety of Trico here in Europe? I, I think that we're, we're trying to work closely with the, um, the, the, the media um, to try and expose the brand um, through advertising, obviously through our visual um, approach here at um, Ikipa. We utilize the internet and the, the social uh, <laughs> to, to, to promote your brand? Um, we have a website? Yeah, yeah absolutely. I mean, we, we, we use our website. Um, we have a fairly comprehensive website, um, which we try to keep updated um, with our new products. We're permanently updating our product catalog that appears online, you know, which is really, really important in the ever-changing market that we have. So we're, we're, so we're always maintaining a, a good coverage. So now I ask you concerning the Iberian market and the, the, where we include Portugal, you speak that you would have some changes. Can you explain what, uh, what change in the, in, the, in the strategic of Trico in the Iberian market? Well, our strategy is really to create uh, a solid foundation uh, where we work with limited uh, number of distributors. We don't want to have an open distribution policy. We're limiting it to, to key strategic partners. Uh, as a result, in Portugal, Crowdly, Sony Cell, CV Parts. And for your information, in Spain, we have three distributors. We're dealing with uh, Comercial Impomovil, uh, which is, I think, the largest independent uh, uh, distribution group in Spain. We're working with Grovisa out of Barcelona and we're dealing with a medium-sized buying group called Holly Auto. So for our time being, our strategy is to create a solid distribution base so that we can actually grow our brand and achieve an acceptable market share. We're not looking for short-term growth, we're looking for a long-term strategy of partnership and profitable business. And what kind of help can you give to your clients uh, in concerning to marketing or uh, <coughs> training? Uh, training is, uh, is, uh, is not an issue. We uh, supply our European customers from a platform in South Wales uh, and we're able to uh, train product management to the extent that's required. required. We have a, a very solid package of display materials uh, which we've supported uh, Crowdly with for their launch, uh, product literature and uh, an up-to-date new catalogue which has been released in the last three weeks as well as websites and everything else but uh, in terms of product support you'll find from our colleagues I think in Crowdly that uh, we're solid. Yeah. And uh, concerning the, the sales, what do you expect for this year and for the next year? Uh, it's difficult to put solid numbers on that. Um, as I say, we're working from a relatively small market share. Uh, our pretensions across the European market are to grow to probably 5, 6, 7 percent European market share. The market share varies from country to country. In Portugal, the Trico brand is, is well known, and in Portugal, I would suggest that we're probably in a position where we have 10-15% market share. So it's going to be a good year for Trico in Portugal? It might depend on the weather to some extent, but uh, 
the uh, response this year from our three distribution partners has been good. And despite the economic situation, we're looking for growth. Nothing spectacular, but there will be growth. There, there, there will be growth. Yeah. And in the European market, it will grow also? Yeah, we've, um, we've had a good year this year, a good start to the year. We've had some, seen some growth on last year, which is very encouraging given the, uh, the current global situation and the, um, the situation in the, in the markets in general. Um, I think we need the weather on our side to help us. I mean, we're, we're always dependent on the weather with the product that we sell. But I think all in all, with what we've done and how we've moved on with new innovative products, I think we're starting to move in the right direction. Hopefully next year we can see more growth too. For the next year you expect a good year also for the Tricoil? We're hoping so, yes. I think uh, the response from our distributor and partners in Portugal has certainly been solid this year. We're off to a good start and as Oliver said, if the weather remains favourable and it is a seasonal product, uh, I think uh, the indications are that we'll see growth. Yeah, thank you very much, sir.